Y'all, I should cut it right here. Run pure. I showed you guys in another hydro. Cut all my hair off and went back to work. I didn't say 13 and 1, baby. Don't be brushing your teeth with no fucking curling gel. Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 17 or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Erin. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you're messing with me because I'm messing with you. Today's video, we are finna get into a hair care routine. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of hair care, not just like my wash and shampoo. We're gonna get into some styling. I'm gonna talk about why I did a big chop and all that tea because there's tea behind that. I'm gonna show you guys my hair before the big chop my hair before it got damaged all that good stuff i'll tell you that later on in the video right now i just want to show you a few products before we head into the bathroom i picked up two products yesterday that's four i picked up two products yesterday because i needed a conditioner like a leave-in conditioner i i was gonna take out my hair yesterday but i didn't have the leave-in conditioner i was like i'm not gonna take out my hair and it just be dry okay so I got a leave-in conditioner and then I also picked up a styling gel. It was pink and I go watch the other video if you want to know why I picked it up really. And then I'm going to use my, let me show you guys actually. This is the leave-in conditioner. I forgot how much this was, but I did tell you guys in my other video. So check that out. And then this is the styling gel. Um, Both of them are no sulfates this one doesn't say no does it say no sulfates but i read the back and it doesn't have any maybe some of them are sulfates and i just don't even know that but they are vegan and no sulfates for the most part and just really good this one is actually a flaxseed gel it's supposed to be a light hold and it doesn't make your hair crunchy it really just makes it it's just holding it so it can hold the curls and stuff like that so that's why i got that because that's what i use with the eco styling gel but i want to use something that's actually you know putting good in my hair as well because it does have aloe in it and thyme which are both like stimulants and all of that which you can't really stimulate your hair other than re retaining your hair but that's that and then i'm also using my ren pure is that what it says yeah ren pure i showed you guys in another hygiene haul we did and then i'm just going to detangle with these two combs i go in with each interchangeably it's not really like use either or use both it's what it's whatever you want to do i just use both of them i like my pick whenever i don't want to use the black one i like my black one whenever i don't want to use the pick um both work and yeah now i have to because actually y'all you see the hair we gotta do something with the hair before we wash it i can't just wash it in these braids and be like my hair's all good no i'm gonna take these braids out finally Ooh. And yeah, the lighting is going to change because I'm in Florida and it's supposed to be storming and it's sunny. I don't even know. So we really just get in a whole bunch of different shades. Anyways, I'm going to take these dumb braids out, which they're not even dumb because I said I was going to leave them in for a month and it's hitting three weeks today. Yeah, something like that. Really close to three weeks or even over three weeks. So I'm happy. And now I'm going to take them out and I'm going to look like a bad girl, a bad girl yeah so do i time lapse this or do i talk to you guys yeah i'm gonna talk to you guys about my big shop this is a perfect time to do that okay let me get my scissors and then we'll get in to the tea but it really is tea but it's some good like key tips that might help you out if you in the situation are you doing you know if you you know because it was it was a long process to getting my hair to a big chop but we will get into that let me get some scissors i will talk to you guys in a few all right y'all let's get started should i cut it right here because what if my hair grew you know what i mean what what if my hair grew y'all i should cut it right here because yeah absolutely like <laughs> bitch i'm playing or well, i'm taking out the first braid and let's get into it why i did the big chop and a little bit of a hair 
like hair tips curly hair tips yeah so first of all i had very long hair in middle school and i didn't even realize it until i'm looking back at pictures and i'm like okay rapunzel yana but anyways i'll put those pictures in if i don't get too lazy you'll see them pop up on the screen somewhere and i just had pretty long hair and really even at that time that was the start of the damage to where there was no return which i could have done something in middle school but i just kept going and going basically heat damage like heat is not good for your hair y'all heat training is heat damage if your hair is straight and it doesn't bounce back in the um with moisture your hair is damaged like it's damaged so if you don't care then you don't care but i did care and the reason why i was doing it a lot is because i'm from california and i was in a modeling agency and they wanted me to straighten my hair every single every single shoot every single anything every single everything so i really just got into the habit of straightening my hair and i wanted to have you know bone straight hair out of the head and so it carried on into high school and everything and it got to the point where I just really was not happy with my hair I wasn't happy with my hair at all it was my biggest insecurity so one day like this is the funniest part like I had no plan to do a big chop at all y'all like literally I was just working and I was working a double to where I had an hour break in between right so I had the hour break I came home because it's like five minutes from my house I came home I chilled I was looking at my hair and I was just like girl I think I had a breakdown I don't know maybe maybe it was a breakdown but I'm not mad at it at all so okay <laughs> not gonna cut my hair y'all but anyways so i came home i was chilling i was staring in front of my mirror i just have a big huge mirror right in front of me just sitting down staring at the mirror like gosh my hair like just looking like during the time in middle school i really did not think i had long hair i really was just like oh my gosh my hair is so short but man that stuff was really almost down my back like past my shoulders not even on my shoulders not even a little bit past like that shit was Go going to my back i would have had oh my gosh anyways but yeah so I, I was thinking about that and i was just like oh my gosh like not even how short it was but just how fucking damaged it was y'all that shit was just brittle every day it was some hair coming out every wash it was clumps of hair coming out every day i just and then i started calling my hair see-through y'all <laughs> because i i'm so used to being called oh my gosh your hair is so thick and then to literally be like in this florida sun and you can just see peeps through my hair and then i'll look through pictures over the years of being in florida and it's literally you see more peeps through my hair over the years like it's actually it's not embarrassing because i'm not embarrassed of anything because you live and you learn but it was definitely something and so I come home, I guess I have a little breakdown, who knows. I really, it, was, it didn't last long if that was a breakdown. Cutting my hair actually helped, if so. But yeah, so came home, was sitting in front of my mirror, had an hour to kill, and I cut my hair with scissors. Like, <laughs> that's it, I cut my hair with scissors. Like, I cut all of my hair that was on my head with scissors down to a buzz cut. <laughs> um i guess we uh buzz trim y'all i don't know yeah that yeah we have to say that was something it couldn't have been nothing i don't know literally came home sat down cut all my hair off and went back to work <laughs> i told nobody like literally the first people who knew was my co-workers when i came back to work like it some of them were on a double two babe they were like i was like hey book hey book but yeah that's literally it that's all like my hair was damaged it got to the point where i couldn't take it and now i'm in a stage where i will never put unnecessary heat in my hair because i personally want to have like long flowy hair like i don't i like my short hair right now like i'm enjoying my journey knowing that i'm going to have long hair knowing that i'm taking every step to have long hair and to have retention basically like at first i started off with retention when my mama doing my hair doing the barrettes doing a pink lotion you know i had that retention on lock baby that hair was going down the back of y'all not and then my hair just turned into like a piece of paper not even paper paper it was thicker than my hair baby um what like a, a a dried up leaf a freaking dried up leaf was my hair that was the equivalent to my hair like anything was just gonna break it off it was it was intact at that time and let anything 
okay you can you can press a dry leaf and it don't break and then you press it the wrong way and then that thing is crumbling in your hands that stuff is so annoying but yeah anyways that's why and i'm very happy about it my hair literally brought me to tears countless of times more than i can count on my fingers hands um on my fingers toes my eyelashes literally it was my biggest insecurity i think if you know me for real for real like you're in my close circle then you know that was my biggest insecurity and to this day i'll sometimes catch myself saying like oh yeah my hair was my biggest insecurity or my hair is my biggest insecurity and then i'll change it to was because we're not even going to go through that like literally that was uh, in itself just something i could i could deal with it because i did but something that just felt so like oh my gosh what do i do and then i didn't want to cut it like i never even had a perm i've just been natural my entire life and heat damage was my enemy so that's that i think i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna finish off camera and i'm going to talk to you guys in the shower i think i want to make like a good drink actually y'all look one more thing I got this water bottle. I've been talking about consumption and stuff. I've already consumed more water than I've consumed in a few days. And I really like this water bottle because it's also a straw. Like, I am making things convenient to myself. I don't like drinking water. Okay, I need the water to come to me. Bitch, this water be coming to me. It's literally just... <sighs> okay, let somebody call me a kid. And I'm probably drinking more water than you now. And if I'm not, I'm, I'm still drinking water. Okay, bye. Awesome. You never should have ever been true Well, I know you're 22 And you've seen something That you never should have been exposed to Yeah Who I got protect you When you feel you are in danger You know what I feel now No, 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 man You know I'm not stranger You want to know What you're comfortable You want to believe it. You're comfortable back you guys i finished taking down my hair and everything i'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit more about my hair growth and i wanted to share like my big chop journey honestly i chopped my hair in august of 2022 sometime around august within there and then i actually started growing it out february because i was just constantly cutting it um to keep it very short and then i decided to just like you know what let me not cut it and then i kept not cutting it and here we are in december doing vlogmas on youtube oh my gosh like this big cut like big chop activated so many things in my life i felt like hair is it's just a beauty thing but personally like i would do my hair over anything else anything else beauty related like i would do my hair even if it's not a weave even if it's just my natural hair something cute hair i i do hold a lot of weight in my hair i feel like that is just i hold a lot of weight in my hair if you feel the same way you feel the same way okay you know what i mean but yeah i cut that hair off and i've actually done so many things because it's not even saying that personally like the hair is holding weight or like anything of that it's just like the hair really like it was my biggest insecurity because it was just so damaged and there was very little things that i could do to make it not damaged and protective styles cost money okay lots of it too so yeah and at the time i was in high school and all of that so 
that is my big chop a little that's the little update okay i want to update y'all later on so yeah this is a few months into girl not my earring just fell off this is a few days into a few months into actually growing it out because i did have the bus cut the entire time i wasn't growing it out like i wasn't taking care of it at all i was just like who cares i ain't got no hair i'm gonna cut it off it's like this hair is gonna be gone and it's gonna have new hair so i didn't care at first and then once i really started to try to retain and maintain i kept while it was really short it was very very easy to do the things i'll tell you to do right now i made sure that i had a cap on my head and some leave-in conditioner like i was deep conditioning all the time because well at least all the time i was home because at the same time when i do touch it i i'm gonna because i'm gonna touch it at some point right i'm gonna have to do something i'm gonna have to be in my head and that is the one of the biggest ways of breakage is just to keep touching your hair so the times i wasn't touching my hair i made sure my hair was you know and then also i have low porosity so that's why i got the heat involved in all of that with the cap it was a perfect combination for my hair and i saw lots of benefits from doing that because i wasn't touching it i wasn't i had the bonnet on over like i had the, the cap and i put a bonnet on and i just went around my day my hair is not touching all throughout everything in my room and stuff like that so it was really just tucked away tucked away that's what i was doing and then i just put it up in these protective styles for the first time since i've chopped my hair because i was touching my hair a lot so i felt like i just wanted to do something and not have to think about it not have to touch it too much just do my edges real quick and that i got i got the works out of that and now we're gonna go into another natural style after i get it all washed but i am gonna head over to the bathtub with you guys and i will see you there <laughs>
I just got my hair did by my mom and I just got out of the shower did all of that my hair is clean okay very clean I did put my products in because I already filmed this little outro but you guys were on slow-mo so there's no audio anyways I went in with the leave-in conditioner first I just put that generously around my hair I actually didn't even need as much as I usually use because it's very silky and I really love that and it's also clear that was pretty cool and they have really good ingredients in there and it says that it's like shop tested because they are two hairstylists that made the brand and they've been testing out their products in their shops by themselves like their actual selves they've been testing out the products so I think that's really cool and they be talking about some it's the best hair curling period I don't care anyways I really liked it for my hair it was very silky and it feel like it penetrated more likely than other things that have not penetrated my hair with the fact that I am low porosity and my hair is just like girl just take the moisture thank you dang and then next I went in with the styling gel like I showed you guys it's definitely holding up to the light weight I'm like my hair does not feel like it has gel in it so to speak compared to like eco styling gel and it is definitely not crunchy at all and it has some nice products in there too to moisturize and stuff like that so it's not just gel like holding your hair it's actually conditioning your hair while it's holding your hair and i think that's really nice i love a good two in one okay i didn't say 13 in one baby don't be brushing your teeth with no fucking curling gel um anyways <laughs> my bad anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of vlogmas don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below and i see you guys tomorrow